Hi, welcome to day two of the North American International Auto Show in Detroit. I'm Mark Vaughn, in for Rory Carroll, who is still out trying to track down the shark who ate his friend. First up here at Detroit on day two is Audi, which presented the fabulously fast RS7. And for crossover fans, there's the SQ5 with a supercharged V6 and 354 horsepower. Volkswagen previewed a new seven-passenger SUV with the cross blue concept. When it hits the streets next year, the SUV will use the Passat's platform and be built in Tennessee. It will replace the Rutan. Thank God. Toyota and Honda both showed concepts aimed at getting the all-important younger buyer. The Honda Urban SUV concept uses the platform from the fit and looks to go up against the Nissan Juke. It will be built in Mexico. And the long in the tooth Corolla is ready for a makeover and the Furia concept shows the next generation of Toyota's small sedan will gain some attitude. Nissan showed a replacement for the Versa hatchback that will be called the Note. Please make a note of that. Nissan also showed the Resonance concept which previews the replacement for the Murano. And for the home team, this being Detroit, Cadillac previewed the swoopy ELR, which runs on the Volt platform. Hot on the heels of the Chevy Silverado launch, Ford showed some interesting stuff about the F-150, lightening the structure up, but still maintaining those manly proportions buyers love. If you're gonna make the journey down to Cobo Hall yourself, be sure and check out the Corvette Stingray. We got to see the C7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, but those are all going away when the public days open. We are sorry, we apologize. Actually, Chevrolet should apologize. But seeing the C7 here in Detroit is really cool. That's the news from Detroit, the second day of the auto show. For more details, be sure and check out autoweek.com. In fact, even if you don't want more details, please check out autoweek.com. Click on all the links you find there. We appreciate it. For Auto Week and AutoWeek.com, this is Mark Vaughn. Catch all the latest auto and business news at AutoWeek.com, in AutoWeek magazine and iPad edition. Talk with us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at AutoWeek USA.